Welcome back to Trunk Monkey Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the MSR Dragonfly. Um, this is a portable stove that's easy to take backpack in. It's a uh, very good size if you're going to be cooking more for more than one person, two or three people. It's really sufficient. It's capable of handling pots. Now this one is, like I said, it's good for if you're cooking more than two or three people. There is, if you're going by yourself, there is a smaller solution. This is the MSR Pocket Rocket and it takes a small fuel cell or a canister of fuel that's really compact if you're going by yourself. We'll do a review on this later on. But today we're going to show you more about this uh, Dragonfly and how Once to use it. purchase the stove, you will need to purchase a fuel bottle. They offer it in the standard MSR bottles. They also offer a titanium. The, one, the beautiful thing about this stove is it can operate on four different fuels. You have white fuel, diesel, kerosene, and unleaded gasoline. So whatever you have available to you, you can use it on the stove. Hey guys, some of the items that when you purchase this stove, it will come with, you have the stove itself, you have the primer valve, you'll have a heat shield that can go around it to prevent wind from blowing out your flame, and you also have a piece of aluminum. It's a heat shield as well to go underneath the stove. I'll show you how it goes together. When you first get your stove, you just start out by unfolding the pot supports. This is also basically a stand as well. Now, if you're on some leafy ground or something like that, they do have a heat shield that you can put on the ground. It falls out just like that, and it'll actually stand on it. First one to do is rotate your burner out. It just sits on it like that. Next thing we're gonna do is put the pressure valve into the tank itself. So you have your bottle of fuel, Take your cap off. These you have to put in to start in sideways. You'll need to put both of these in there. Push it in and it just screws in. Good and snug. Then we're gonna hook up the brass line. All right, first thing I wanna do is make sure your hook here is back toward the brass line. You'll slide it into the port. And this hook right here will come around and it'll actually lock on. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna prime your tank. All right, after you do that, you're gonna cut your valve on here. Make sure this one's off. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to turn this valve on until inside here there's going to be a cup. You want to watch a little fuel go into that. Once the fuel goes into that, you're going to light it, let it start burning. And once it starts burning, it'll start heating up. Continue burning, we're going to add some more fuel to it. All right, if you look down in here, I'll show you where the fuel goes in. You see the fuel that went in there? Okay, that's all you're gonna need. You go ahead and cut your valve back off, and now you're gonna light it. Okay, now we're gonna start adding a little bit of fuel to it. We're gonna add a little more fuel. Now once it heats up, this actually burner puts off enough heat, it's capable of um, boiling 16 ounces of water in approximately four minutes. So it's a good way if you need fresh water from a stream or something like that, you can purify your water. There are some other accessories that you can purchase, um, additional cost for the stove. This right here is a base. So if you're on uneven ground or something like that, you can actually set this down. The stove will actually sit on it like this. 
and you actually squeeze these together and it actually locks in to the stand itself. And that gives a little more stability for the, the, the burner itself. The other thing is if you're out here trying to cook or anything like that and it's windy, they also provide a heat shield. Some of the kits you might have to purchase this separately. It unfolds. It actually has a notch cut out of it where you have access to your burner. It just sits around like that. And you still have enough room you can put your pots on top. Okay, now I've showed you how it works. Let's try boiling some water. Hey guys, it took about four minutes to come to a rolling bowl. I uh, appreciate you watching this review. You can get these somewhere between $90 and $120, depends on the, uh, the package it comes with. I appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe.